All right, today I'd like to show y'all how to remove the corrective lens in this Bird Jones style Power Seeker 127. It's something I struggled with, and maybe this video can help somebody else where I struggled at. But uh, come to find out that the corrective lens that's in the focuser has to be removed to put a laser collimator on it. And I found that you can lower this all the way down, remove these two screws ever, ever slightly, where it can be pulled out just a little bit and get the thing off and you can pull it right up. Maybe loosen a little bit more. Get past that last port. And you can pull the focuser out and if you look down here there's two little lines on this ring that retains the corrective lens you can take one of these put it up here like so turn it a little bit getting it loose take it all the way off And I hold it up so the lens won't drop out. Get it all messed up. Put it aside and remember how it come off. And then grab something soft. Like a t-shirt. What I like to use. And you can just flip the mirror out. Or lens out. And it sits there like that. And it's important to remember how it comes out because you put it in there backwards, it won't look right. But at any rate, you got the lens out. Put it aside. And then you can put the focuser back. They were so careful. Put it back all the way back down. And then you can tighten these screws back down. make sure it works correctly and leave it all the way down then you can put your laser collimator in there collimate the telescope like any other Newtonian reflector and then you you're good to go and when you're done collimating you just repeat it re-loosen it like so Pull it up. Take it back out. Sit it down. Grab your lens. Drop it back in like it come out. Put the ring back on it. So, take the thing, tighten it back down. If I need it, there we go. And just put it back in there. Tighten the screws back down. And you should be good to go as long as you collimated it correctly. I'll do a collimating video with a laser collimator in the future. But right now, I just wanted to show you all how to take the lens out. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching.